G'day and welcome back for more Assertive Acquisitions with uh, Bouncy Capac and uh, um, Yeah, I don't have words for what TFE is. And four of Splitsy's biggest fans. <sighs> Are they actually owned by me? No, built by Capac. They're your biggest fans. We have fighters now. I need to go bring mine and put it in my hangar. Uh, we probably I'm... need some more hangers to put the rest of them in and to print new ones. Yeah, mine, mine needs a bit of repairs. One of my guns is missing, I think. Well, that's the joy of if you built it with a projector and the large printing array that we can just fly through and repair. Uh, I mean, yes, that is a thing, but also it's... It's just one gun, so it's easy to just stick one on. Well, except you don't want to stick one on. You want to use the projection, because then it's all still set up on your commands and hotbars and stuff. My hate train fits to uh, a pair welder. It does not. Guns are automatic on the hotbar, though. Does it through fit through a standard uh, hanger door thing? Because I sincerely doubt it. Uh, well, it should be able to go outside, worst case scenario. Uh, I'm pretty confident it's going to have no chance at all of fitting through here. I mean, mine's a pretty tight squeeze. Uh. Oh, world is alive. <laughs> oh, why'd you tell him? Needed to get him back for the airlock incident. Mm -hmm. There we go. I'm fully repaired. Until, I was fully until repaired. You, until you <laughs> clipped the door on your way out. Now you need to go back in and repair again. Lucky it's so quick, huh? Uh, we need like a button here to switch the system on and off. Yeah. Yeah, we do. HRAM's door is still haunted. <laughs> Wait, when I set... Oh, yeah. Uh, I need to do a thing first. Set that up. And then we've got, then we've got the emergency shutdown. Because you set it all up with lights and things last time, didn't you? Uh, I've got the lights set up, but they will need to... Like, I need to set up a timer block to do all of the controls and stuff. Oh, that could just be an on-off and I could put the lights in the group, I guess. How about... Now. Now everything is on. Hey, it works. Simple. Safe. Danger. Safe. Danger. Safe. Danger. Safe. Oh dear. TFA's gonna try and fit in. This is gonna be. Uh, uh, we should watch this, Capac. I think this will be funny. No, uh, I'm gonna go flying at warp speed. Yeah, I'm just not sure you're even gonna fit at all, so. I'm gonna be amused to watch you try. Um. Yeah, I think you might have a point. Could you. <laughs> like, your cockpit <laughs> barely fits through. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Capac? Uh, Do you. Where have you gone? Uh, okay. See this interior light? Yes. Um, can you match that to your your warning lights in there? Yep. Put it in the same group. Yep. Then we've got an external light that tells us what's going on in there, so we can see if it's going even with the door closed. Uh, does this make you happy, Kamek? Mostly. Was it supposed to be flickering like that? That's very obnoxious. Uh, it's meant to be flickering, but not like that. Cool. Oh. Alright, that works. Um, I have no idea whatsoever how I'm going to make this have a, uh, a little small grid thing that allows us to print off new printer, new fighters. Thinking it's going to have to come down from the ceiling, poke its way in there, let things print off, and then retract back out. But I'm not sure if I want to do that on this side, or if I want to do it on the far side. I mean, the far side seems like it has more space because we haven't... because we've only got the access tunnel coming up. So, yeah, if you have something above, then what, it's going to be like a piston arm that's then got like a rotor to small grid or something on the end? Yeah, or something like that, but I just realised something. We need to have mini merge blocks on our fighters for printing these off. Rather than having to grind a block off when you print a new one, I think having a merge block would make a lot of sense. Might be able to sneak 
one in somewhere. It should be towards. It should be at the rear. Yeah. Or the front. Rear. The rear at the top. Uh, no, probably facing rearward. Yeah, yeah, but it would, because the arm's probably going to come down from above. Oh. Uh, so you'd want it to be on the top at the back somewhere. Well, I'm going to try and get the arm to come down. Uh, yeah, let's try and do top back because then there's some consistency between our two designs. Like where I'm thinking of uh, this will be. I'll show you where I was thinking of for mine. Because uh, does mine need to be in the same relative placement? Ideally, um, but it doesn't have to be. Like you could do a double one on each side of that middle thruster. If you want to make it symmetrical. Because I could easily put something like here. Oh yeah, if you want to put it there, that's fine. What are you up to, TFE? Uh, I'm just putting the finishing touches on my little hanger. Um, have you thought about a way to get some sort of welder apparatus on your ship to repair your H strip? No. On the Marlin. Actually, I could do it with the ceiling of my hangar. Maybe. Though I don't have much space to work with. Well, yeah, al alternatively near your ejection system. Um, right. I'm gonna have this come down. Probably what we want to have is uh, just a hinge on the end of a piston. And the piston retracts up into the roof. If I do that, I can probably keep this whole thing piped up too, just in case we decide, decide to design something with um, hydrogen. And we need to have it fueled. So we need to have it piped. What I was imagining was like um, having a small a small merge block and a small connector next to each other and that would be the coupling Energy. if no. it's a design that has both or that needs fueling up. Uh, is your apparatus going to be short enough that it can hinge through the door? Yeah. Because like... Because if this is going to be, if, it, if it's going to be here and then it's going to like fold like up into here when it extends, you've only got so much clearance. Yeah, yeah, it'll it'll work. Because it'll, it'll be all about timing. So on extension, I just need it to start folding while it's at the right point. But I think it'll be fine anyway. So if we extend the piston, down we go. Actually, even further. 6.25. Yeah, that's more like it. Meteor storm inbound. Yeah, that that didn't sound good. One of them got exploded. I it saw a very it. crunchy sound. Yeah, it was very close when it got exploded. And I don't know what block it is that's popping through there, but it's kind of annoying. But a lot of the a lot of this lighter mauve, as you call it, is going to be removed anyway as we put. I think that's the that's the gate. That's the gate. That's the bottom of the gate. Yeah, a lot of this will be altered anyway, and we'll put like little greebles and stuff in there because it's meant to be just negative space anyway, so it doesn't need to be smooth. Uh, it just needs to not draw attention to itself, so that's that's okay. Um, Kabak, do you reckon? I think this might be okay. Are you sure that'll fit through the door? No. I mean, yes, I am. Just it's about how I do it and what order it happens in. Because we've got event controllers, I can have this. I can have the hinge Wait. start extending as the piston gets close. Uh, couldn't couldn't you have the the projector and the merge block on a small grid piston? Uh, I could, but I just don't want that much wobble. Yeah, yeah, I guess it would compact it down significantly, though. It, I don't it know would. if that'll have the clearance to get through the door. It will definitely have the clearance to get through the door. It's just about how you do it. So, say I withdraw the, so. Withdrawal is obviously going to be the same process, but say I'm Energy. retracting the piston and at the same time moving this hinge out of the way. Oh, I see. You do not have enough clearance for. Okay. I take that back. You are correct, sir. Um, hmm. I thought I'd have enough for that. I think I do. I think I've just got to get the timing spot on. Hey. And maybe be one block shorter. I think part of the problem might be the piston is too close to the door. Oh yeah, I'd get more if freedom it was, if it was further yeah, out. If it was... I just wanted to keep it compact. 
What the? I'm hearing clang noises. Kavrik, what yeah, did you drop on the ground? Just me dropping some stuff. Okay. I might have to do the piston thing. It's probably smarter. With the, um, with our spoils outside, oh, has yeah, anyone spotted thing. another trade station yet? I can't see any. I haven't been looking. Yeah, we might need to travel a bit further afield. Like, we could probably... I mean, guess we could go to the uranium asteroid. That's probably a far enough away. You said that was 60-ish Ks, didn't you, TFV? Yeah. Once we're... Well, I mean... Energy critical. Make money with uranium is easier. We're there. <laughs> yeah. If we sidle this thing up to an asteroid, that means that there's a lot less directions we can get hit by evil space rocks. Yeah, looks like my batteries are fully charged. That's a very valid point, Kamak. That felt a very weird thing to say. Hmm. Why are a whole bunch of different blocks numbered 666? Huh? On there's what? There's a drill, there's two sci-fi ion Energy. thrusters. On what? Panel. Um, Ow. Energy. Some Ow. of it's on my Marlin. Some are on one of the Wasabi's gyroscopes is called Gyroscope 666. Okay, that's weird. Sounds like a Capac thing. Uh, well, I wish it were. <laughs> but I think it may just be this ship being possessed again. Doesn't sound like the sort of thing he'd do. It does. Although, he probably would have done it by accident rather than on purpose. <laughs> I mean, there is that. Okay, Capac, do you want to be witness to the first test of this printer? Sure. TV, you nearby and want to look? Or are you away? Um, I can find my way through this carrier. Well, you're just coming through the hangar doors. That doesn't the moment, matter. That's the easiest. <laughs> well, the, the side ones. Found Capac. Okay. Test print in three, two, one, go. Oh, it's got railguns. Yep. Oh no. If you uh, miss is it not building the middle? No, 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 no. The oh no is that I didn't do keep projection. <laughs> uh, on the projector, you need to have keep projection on so that when it finishes, it keeps the projection. It doesn't just delete it and try and do a different thing. Reasonable. Of course, we don't have enough space to keep the two fighters that we have, and you've now made another one. <laughs> we do! We've got the bays, we just need to weld them up. And at least weld what up do you the mean connector. We weld them up? <laughs> They're empty. Well, we, we can weld up the connectors, and then that's fine. We can just set them up, and then we can do the decorative stuff around them later. Having the printer function is, I think, far more important. Uh, also, probably having the merge block on my hotbar before I transferred it to this thing would have been smart too. <laughs> I'm going to have to update this blueprint. <sighs> now what I should be able to do is switch off this merge block. Hop in the cockpit. Turn on the thrusters. Turn the batteries onto auto. And fly out. There we go. New printer. New fighter. Hey. Success. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> I locked the landing gear to the floor and I instantly got my camera teleported outside. I was like, what's happened? This is not good. All right, pointy stick four. Let's put that on there. Then I, then when Capac's ready, I can build another projector and put his on there. Now it is ready to print off a whole other one. Alright, so the next thing to do is get these uh, conveyors built. Because then I can get the, um, the connectors built for each of these things. And at least we've got somewhere to hook them up to. Even if it's not necessarily as pretty as Capac wants it to be. What are you doing, Capac? I thought I might start work on a med bay. 
Oh yeah, the, are you building the four med bay? Yep. And later we'll build the aft one. Um, so on your, on the bridge, you know how you've got the two staircases leading up to the upper level? Yeah. Uh, directly at the top of those staircases I've put in some airlocks to get to some other important sections. Okay. Wasn't sure I was going to be happy with that, but actually it kind of works. So we got the med bay, because you want access to the med bay from the bridge. Yep. And then for some reason you build a bunch of stairs up to this. So this is like a flight control tower for the hmm. hangar decks and that, launch That tubes. may end up getting dropped a block or two, depending on the missile printing, but yeah. I think we can keep that idea. Uh, so don't, don't, don't build too much of the stairway and things like that around it because I'll probably have to modify it once we've got the hangar space once I've got the missile launcher system designed well, it's it's pretty far back from and it's pretty high up so hopefully it's out of the way enough yeah I honestly just don't know how big I'm going to need to go with those but uh, I'm focusing on the med bay first anyway yep get some cryo tubes in there too yeah could get some of those get so some if one of you two equipment. gets sick we've got somewhere to put you <laughs> There's a person who's possibly suffering from oxygen deprivation. Hey. Possibly. I mean, he was having issues with saying his own name. Admirable McSplitsington. See, I was fine. I totally didn't have to really concentrate to say that at all. Oh man, the conveyor system in this ship is getting so complex already. I'm trying to build as much redundancy into it as I can as I go along. Alright, Kabak, there's a spot for you to connect up that's actually piped up to the to the ship. Oh, cool. I can actually use my first person view from my cockpit with the connector position that I'd made. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. There you go. Alright, we're clear. Yep, we're clear. You can go in and connect. Uh, have you... You haven't set up any of your, like, um stuff for Izzy's inventory, have you? Oh. Nope. Okay, give me a second. Before you connect, I, let I, I me... I need a new blueprint too, so I'll do that while you're messing around with that. Alright, now take your blueprint. Oh, I just did it. Well, now take it. There we go. Alright, go and lock on, lock on, and then I can set it up. <laughs> That's a bit uh, aggressive. Uh, it you... wasn't me. You locked? Uh, not yet. Um, uh, what? Connector 2 and connector hidden special. Yeah, hidden special is the thing I need to put in there for the inventory manager so that I can put ammo into your connector. So is that on the top one? Yeah. Uh, although it's sparking a bit, I think because of these blocks that are connected to the connector. Mm. Uh, these ones? We should just be able to take them out though, right? Yeah... Yeah, but we do have solid bits in all the hangar roofs. If we turn off the magnetism on the connector, disconnect. Hop in the hop in the cockpit. Uh, you can just uh, hop in your cockpit. Just trust me for a second. Hop in your cockpit. Trust you for anything. <laughs> hop Ow. in your cockpit. Disconnect. Drop down a tiny bit. Connect. There you go. Makes you slightly less likely to clip on your way out, too. Because there's no magnetic strength on that connector now. You just have to get into the spot where it actually has the light turn on, and then you're done. So you may want a connector camera. Oh, I'm so happy. I managed to to build some things. Oh, I need to get that um, projector out of the way. Okay, it looks like, looks like my hangar is going to be directly adjacent to the med bay, so that should be handy. So I was thinking what we could do, Kabak, is maybe have two of each of our fighters ready to go and then perhaps consider having some automated fighters. The other two hangar bays? TFE you going to have some kind of fighter as well? Well, TFE's got his Marlin and he's got his fighters media on board the Marlin. Oh, no, not Media Storm. Yeah. Well, um, more rocks. I was assuming if he was on board the carrier and wanted to use one of the fighters, he'd use one of the pointy sticks. Or one of your um, Chuzwazers. Uh, 
Go back. Is there space on your on your ship for a uh, an event controller? Um, I don't know what that is. Uh, it's a little block that allows me to set up a thing so when you lock to that connector, a whole bunch of stuff happens on your ship, like turning off your thrusters, putting your batteries on to recharge, and turning off the broadcast of your beacons. Uh, how big is it? I think it's a one by one. Uh, if it's one by one, maybe just stick it uh, here with the um, with the merge box. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. All right. I'm just gonna set up your thing for you, and then you can get a new br blueprint. So what is this thing called? The Green uh, it's Menace. The Green Menace. Okay. All right, let's try this. Thrusters turned off. Beacons turned off. And batteries are on recharge. And then I disconnect. And everything's good. <gasps> it might be a Kapak safe fighter. Pass. Where is it? Well, I mean, all the fighters are, are equipped with the same technology now. So I Kapak, think they can escape me. Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want anything else added to your hotbar controls? Like, is there anything you want added to your hotbar controls beyond what you've got? Oh, actually, there is something you need. You need the merge block on and off. And I'll put switch lock for the lower connector on your second hotbar. Uh, and then event controller, the last thing. I think I've done. So beacon, projector, batteries, thrusters. Is there anything else? Lights, I think are a good option. Love this. Okay, Kapak, get a blueprint of it. Oops. What's and oops? Be, oh, you know, a bit of plate's about to that <laughs> yeah <laughs> right better plates about to hit the ship I'm oh, trying to do this decorative stuff around here makes me feel so good when it's done man it's slow to get it done even when copying stuff you've already done actually I think it's worse when you're copying stuff you've already done so it's like you're not even being creative anymore Oh, I can improve it. It's like, no, I know this works. <laughs> well, yeah. It's like, if I improve it, I've then got to do it for all of the others as well, because they need to match in this instance. Like, I really, I'm really happy with the fact that you can see through to the hangar bays as you walk down the corridor, and vice versa. I really like that. One of those things that really just makes me happy when it's finished, as opposed to <laughs> happy in the process. Like, I, back, I did remove one of your bulkheads. Uh, it was necessary. Be done. Oh, it just means that one of the corridor sections, the one that's under the hangar, is longer. It's because it doesn't really work with the hangar that's overhead. Guess it doesn't really need any access along this section. No. And I mean, if we need it, we can put a little airlock off to the side, like a little man-sized airlock. And I'm just doing the simple angled walls along here so that we can replace them with specific ones, because I think you've... Oh wait, no, you didn't do that with those. This is where you put the glass in. That's right. So we may be able to put glass in part of it, like where it's over the industrial hangar or something, just to break it up a bit. Does the shower always have functioning lights in it? No. You can thank chipsticks for that. Less risk of falling in the dark trying to have a shower. Yeah. Trigger fish. I don't know what that is. A what? Trigger fish. Can't say that. Rude. Why not? Not sure Capac knows. So are we going to colour code the bays for the fighters that live in them? No. Uh, I mean, we could colour code some parts of it, but I don't think we should... You have to be really careful about which bits you do. Uh, transmitting image confirm target. Someone's spying on us. I mean, I did just see the hiding pirate station pop up, but I don't see anything else. Oh, I see an IMSR mining transport. I don't even uh, see that. I see a WYCC trigger no. fish. Yeah, yeah, that was there before. I see... I don't see anything. Well, it sounds like they're attacking whatever it is that they're talking about. I guess it's not us, question mark? <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe they're after the trigger fish. Oh, I'm gonna keep building. Benji! Yeah, that Benji is closing very quickly. Tiffy, is that on your side of the ship? Uh, no, I'm literally on the other side. 
Do you want to not be on the other side? Uh, I was going to suggest I get in my H tram and um, interpose myself. Well, I was I was going to suggest interposing. Oh, well, yeah, okay. Uh, Kapak, do you want to scramble your fighter? I thought that was that's what the enemies were trying to do. <laughs> no, that's scramble you in your fighter. How far away are they now? 3.3. 3. Oh, oh the three Benjis. Benjis. Uh, have you got visual? They seem pretty small. They're very difficult to see. Red and white, green and white, two red and whites. 2.2 k's out. I'm moving to engage. Switching to rail guns. Just make sure I'm not in the line of fire whenever you find those things. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Kavak's already engaging. Oh! Oh, I'm getting plinked. Oh, one of them just fired a rail gun. Oh, my rail guns aren't firing for some reason. Yeah. I think we can lure them around to where my marlin is, so it's got a clean shot. Oh yeah, good call. Uh, where is your marlin? Oh man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to read. Ah, dang it. I turned off both my rail guns. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Um, one of them just exploded and did no damage to the ship. Cool. I might have slightly shot them Whoa. as I was passing the... Yeah. Uh, there's Benji over this way. 1.4k's out. I'm not, not oh. sure anyone's engaging it. Right, yet. Yeah. How's this thing still alive? Closing. Need a clean shot to go with these rail guns, but if I get one hit, it should be it. it. This oh, one's got dead. a hit! This one's uh, dead in the water, I think. Oh, that one's still alive. Oh. Yeah, unfortunately I mainly took out stuff at the back end of it. Oh. It's got rail guns too. Oh, that was close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Kapak. I, was like, I thought that was one of them closing no, on that one. No, that was one of them firing at me. No, no, no Kapak's green menace. I'm watching it close in on the, the Benji I hit with the rail guns. Yeah, and then it fired a rail gun at me. Yeah. No, that was a different one. Oh? Oh, maybe it wasn't. I've lost track. Oh, no, it, it just shot again. Looks like it's running away. Trying to engage, oh. go back. I think I'm on fire a bit. Yep. I think so, too. Oh, I just missed. I took it out. It's dead? That one? Oh, ow! Did you just crash it? Yeah. Are you still flying? I am alive. I didn't ask if you were alive, I asked is your ship flying? Uh, I asked if you were flying. Uh, it's got a big hole in the front. Where the cockpit used to be. Your ship? Yeah. Yeah, those looks very dead. I'm just gonna make sure. I found one that's mostly intact. Take it. Oh, I saw a railgun fly past. That was me. Uh, there's a body in this one. It just disappeared. I think it was a body. Damage report? Yes. Um, I might have accidentally shot the carrier in the crossfire slightly. Um, so, if... all carrier damage... <laughs> TFE's fault, got it. Hey, I blew up one of the enemies doing it, so... <laughs> uh -huh. You, you uh -huh. could probably grab this with your... Uh connector um, and hold my landing gear for repairs yeah, yeah right. landing gear oh your ship you mean yeah yeah all right i'll bring it back i found a mostly intact one although i think it's um, a bit too large to fit in the printer whoa <laughs> yeah i overshot a bit got a bit more forward thrust than i, than I realized <laughs> no one else coming in from what i can tell though it's all a cert around here hey and the IMSR. You may want to do that moving we were talking about. True. 
I'm picking up a 2.4 case. Ah, uh, that'd be me. Next to the mostly intact one. Oh, that looks right. really cool. Healing the bits from the thrusters. Ah, uh, good call. Oh yeah, we should have checked out the one we had, Gamak. Uh, have you had a look at the front of the ship recently? Front of which ship? Big ship. Area. Yeah. I mean, I'm staring at it right now. So the the blue lights that I put in the gunnery section, the light like leaks out around the rail guns. Is it in a good way or a bad way? In a good way. Okay. It's like there's glowing blue technology stuff back there. Uh. Oh, uh, looks like the carrier took a few hits. Yeah, TFE shot it. Door <laughs> he even owned up open. to it. <laughs> <laughs> even made the mistake of doing that. Hey, my footage will show I blew up an enemy at the same time. <laughs> so, Kavak, are you going to replace the cockpit on this thing so you can fly it through the repair hangar? Uh, uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, did the projector on this get destroyed or is the projector just off? Uh, it should be off. I think the, pro the projector was buried somewhere inside, I think. Yeah, there's still a fair bit of this missing, though. Oh, yep, I'm seeing some dents in the carrier's hull, but nothing too serious. Yeah, one of the ships exploded as it was, like, heading dead on to it. I think you were shooting it, but I'm not yeah. sure. I, I don't know why it exploded. Something. You might have hit its ammo supply or something. It was weird. Oh, cat back. Um, I'm going to leave your ship here. I'm going to leave your ship just outside its docking bay. Not anywhere okay. better because I'm about to run out of power. Oh no, it's only when I oh it's only when I'm thrusting forward that I got four minutes of power. It's actually okay. It's not so bad. Mm, is it that possible they spot us because of the bright red and white station we had next to us? I mean maybe that or they were tracking its signal. Well yeah, or they, you know, had information from the drones that had been attacking us because it seemed like they were the same people. Are we talking about moving to the uranium asteroid or near it? Yeah. Could we do that now? Probably. I suppose we'd all better get seated then. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. We need to get the ships on board first. Thank you very much. Ah, right. Well, it's only kind of important. It's not that far to fly manually. <laughs> 60 Ks? Hey, it's only 58 and a half. <laughs> Alright, I don't think I took a single bullet of damage. I definitely did, and I what felt like jumped over a railgun that was shot at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I got away with that. Oh, oh, too fast. Too fast in the hangar bay. Well, we need like a speed limit. No, I just almost came out the other side. I, I've got a pro uh, the projector still there. Okay, cool. Well, you can uh... turn it on, and then you want to weld the cockpit up from the projection, not placing a new cockpit. Yeah, because uh, otherwise you won't have all the hot bars. Yeah. But I'll need the, I'll need an assembled cockpit to get it into the thing. Yeah, so turn on the projector. It is on. It doesn't have its blueprint in it then. Well, put the blueprint in it. Uh, I'm trying. <laughs> <sighs> that one. Uh, oh dear. But it wasn't attached though. So, Kabak, you you took a blueprint of everything, did you? Apparently. I thought it was disconnected when I took the blueprint. Aren't you lucky I took a blueprint for you? No. Splitsy's being benevolent. Kabak, have you, have you gone through the welder array yet? Yes. Alright, so what you need to do... Ow, ow, ow! Dang it, I forgot you turned it on. <laughs> I, I am in it, and it is going. Medbay. Handy. It's on the correct side for the button, too. Why isn't that armor block holding up? Okay, come back. Have you replaced your cockpit yet? No. Okay, let's replace your cockpit. Well, that's inconvenient. That is... Uh, Kabak's gravity gen meant that his fighter is now unable to have its... <laughs> I can't... I can't get it to place its cockpit. I can uh, turn the gravity off. 
It's too late for that. Come on, push. Push the ship. Overrided. Overridden oh, yeah, thrust. Back into it. <laughs> Overridden thrust is not moving it. Oh, delightful. Gyro. No, what happened was um, I unfortunately did not have space in my inventory. I ground down the cockpit. Some components dropped. What the? Ooh, Something that just hit? Sounded, oh, yeah, there's a hole in the hull. Where? Here. Where? Helpful, Capac. Yeah. Like, uh, at the hangars in the med bay. Oh, jeez. That's a big hole. Yep. Where are you? Kind of lucky your ship lost. wasn't parked there. <laughs> you just flew past it, Tiffy. Ow. Come back. Turn around. Okay. Look up. Let's see, Capac. Up. Over here. Me. Turn around. Look yeah. up. Wasn't there before? No! No, that giant gaping hole was not there before. Oh. Yeah, but the meteors came from the other way, unless there was more of them. I the meteors know. were coming from the front of my ship. Bad in that direction. Hmm. I don't know. But yeah, that is a giant gaping hole in the armor. It does make me want to potentially start slowly replacing the armor with um, heavy. They're going to say putting turrets on the carrier so it can protect itself from meteors. Oh, Capac. What? Oh, no. You've what? misaligned the projector. What? It's a block too far forward. That'll be fine. Well, it's got a cockpit now. You can fly it in park it. Very hard to see anything. <laughs> it is. Uh, I'll, I'll acknowledge that. Meteor storm. Storm. Meteor storm. storm. What Jeez. is going on? This is not a good area. I think that meteor was even a glancing blow. That's in not the direction they usually come from. I think it's just kind of glanced and hit. Your guns managed to pick one off. Davey, how many of those wrecks did you bring back? What wrecks? The the fighter wrecks that we fought. No, I didn't bring it back because it wouldn't fit in the um, hangar. You didn't? No. Um. There are fighters to? out here then? Yeah. Is that, they the, is that the one we... They're probably the ones we took out. Oh no, that's part of a drone. Huh. At a distance it looked like one of those fighters and I was freaking out. I was getting no, very I think confused. One of them was them that's lying around here. Oh, okay. Oh, Kabak, how did your fighter perform? Uh, it went alright. Did you feel alright with it? Like, is there anything you'd think you're going to change about it? I know I've asked you this before, but I try and think about this each time I come back with my fighter. Might try aligning the projector the right way, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that might be a decent idea. I didn't actually get in any fighting, so I don't really have anything to think about. Like, I didn't get into a dogfight, but you seemed to actually get into some. Shot some dudes. Oh, I shot some dudes. They just didn't shoot back at me. They were shooting too at you busy. guys. Yeah, they're too busy shooting at us. We're the one that attracts all the enemy fire. Uh, the ones I was fighting were mostly shooting back at me. I don't know why they were shooting at you two. Probably because I was shooting at them. Yeah. So was I. <laughs> I hit them with a ra with with a double railgun blast. I hit them. And then maybe they just didn't think you were very threatening. Yep. They weren't scared by my pointy stick. I have an idea, Kamak. It's not true. It's true. Hundred percent true. Do you have a plan for the middle of the floor here? Yes. What is it? Uh, sort of. What's your plan? I was going to put some lab equipment, uh, maybe something coming down from the ceiling. Well, because what I was thinking was maybe something like this, and then something to look like it was an operating table. What the? What's shooting? Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. I can't see bullets through this hole. Is there something flying past the... This... Is that you, Tiffy? No. Um... It's... There are really multiple... Small. It's a person? Maybe? Is that you, Tiffy? It's a person. 
The red dude oh, here. His, his helmet's open, he's very dead. He's on this. He's on oh. this thing we captured. What? Oh no, I don't know, I don't know which one's you guys at this point. Hiding inside the station, there are. Oh, that was you! Sorry, TFA, I think I shot you. <laughs> I think I shot you. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> I wonder why it came up green. That's not cat bag! Oh, that's an enemy! We need to group up somewhere so we don't confuse with the Ow! Ow! Oh! Ow! Somebody shot me! There's a light patrol drone coming in. I'm staying near my ship. Oh, I'm back in hospital. <laughs> well, I mean, you are building it, so... Oh, I think a patrol drone shot me in the back. <laughs> meant to be moving no it's flying away oh jeez um um uh is that meteors coming in no yes i'm reticent to chase the station i mean we, we're gonna get rid of it anyway. i just shut down its main thruster are you on board kamak i'm floating around where are you in relation to the thruster? I'm on the bridge. There's a dude here. I'm grinding him. He shot me in the face. Are you dead? Yep. What What do you think happens when you get shot in the face? Well, oh, you were oh, grinding. Hey, ah. Was there just the one? I don't know. Oh. Ow. Wait. Did they annoy the soldier? Uh, maybe. Did the group fly inbound on someone. Um, I don't know what to do uh, here. More I'm more on board. The enemy ship. I'm on the ship. Don't shoot each other. Oh, there's a fruit fly here. See ya. They can deal with that. I'm out of that. Wait, I need my stuff. <laughs> Well, it's gone. Um, there's another Benjin coming on our position, and there's an unhappy Baldrin as well. Okay, I'm I'm on my way back. All right, I'm out. All right, what isn't locked down? What ships aren't locked down? Who knows? Well, is is anyone near the base? I near three the kilometers away. TFE, you're not locked down. Locked down. I'm at the carrier. Oh, dang! I just took off to deal with the yeah. Yep, the stand up. All right, go shoot the Benji. I was thinking we could jump. What the? I heard that. That was a railgun blast. Them. No, that was me with the soft cans. No, was it? Something shooting the. Everything. You can always lock down and jump. All aboard. I'm out. I'm out in a pointy stick. Ah, uh, the carrier's oh, a big freak. shot! What? From where? Ow! The fruit fly! Oh! Dang it, I had my turrets off from before. Let's clear these guys out and then get out of here. I think I've got a bead on a fruit fly. Ah! I almost hit one of those ben dead Benjis. Oh, jeez! Scratch one fruit fly. Oh! I just missed! Diamond's right next to us! Okay, <laughs> should we lock everything down and get out of here? Probably. 
So come back, you're out in your fighter, yeah? Yep. Go lock down. What? Go lock down. I'm in the middle of a firefight. But then win faster. Yeah. Win faster or leave the firefight. I'm going to lock down to the outside of the carrier so I can launch quickly and I can stay in the fight. I'll come join in the fight that you're in, but you need to leave that fight. I'm headed back to base, but I'm 3k's out. I think I've taken shots. Oh, I think this isn't still alive. TV incoming! Uh. Oh boy! Oh! <laughs> Ow. You are um, lucky he hit your drills. Oh, I stopped it. <laughs> Dangerous. What was a bit dangerous? Shooting the thing that's still attached to you. Somehow my drills are undamaged. Well, the drills. You were really lucky that it hit the I drills. I didn't shoot them. All right, come back. Are you locking down? I'm trying. I've locked my hangar doors. Are there any ships, anything around here that we haven't got locked down? Don't believe so. Tiffy, have you got your jump drive ready? Tiffy? Uh, uh, where's my GPS? GPS. Uraniums. Uh, Alright, my ship's locked. My GPS is ready. Alright, I'm locked down to the outside. Let's go, 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 go. Everything on the outside looks like it's still here. A lot of dents in the carrier. A lot of heavy armor. <laughs> yeah, there aren't there aren't that many holes. There are just dents. Uh, you sure? What do you mean? There is one hole. There's a big hole here where the uh, the where asteroid these thruster scaffolds used to be. Oh yeah, that too. They were, they were just scaffolds, that's no big deal. Space Pirate Salvage Station. No, with 11 Ks for- Oh, they're everywhere! My uraniums. I mean, our uraniums. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Jeez. Well, I found them, so... They're everywhere. Who wants to come and kill them before they come to us? We should just jump again. But this is where the uranium is. I mean, if we whack them quickly, they might not be able to get alerted that we're here. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, we ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Yep, got a beacon. I'm good to go. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hang on, sorry. No. I just looked at my ammo count. I'm actually pretty low. I'll go grab the other. Oh, no. Yeah, dual rail guns on a ship with two batteries is not my smartest move. I'm out of power. Really? Yep. Well, print a new one. <laughs> um, I kind of want to feels so wasteful. There's railgun ammo on board that thing. Spot it? Can that I spot you, it? Is that you spinning around? There's coffee in that that's, nebula. That's my pointy stick spinning around down there, yes. Ah. Alright, as soon as I get back with this, I'll launch with the other one. That's good. Oh! Hey, there's something unfriendly coming in. What? Something's flying towards us. The bright star is flying towards us. No, there's a person, maybe? Is it a drone? Uh, just leave us I'm speed. Seeing drones. Come on. Seriously? I think they came from that salvage station. Uh, was it one of the little basic drones or was it? It was a little one, yeah. It wasn't oh, like okay. a fighter thing. Okay, maybe, maybe. Alright. Fast. Yes. I mean, I've got a pointy stick ready. I just literally need to connect this one. That's it. I'm all, and I'm almost there. Back to the early days, ATFE. Eh? Two um, of us I taking on enemies. The early days being with rovers, except I was flying them. Well, we were flying. <laughs> we weren't meaning to fly, but we were flying. Ah, the good old days. Back when things were simpler. And we were trying to figure out how to make our rovers fight against their own turrets. 
because we made the turrets heavier than the rover. Oh, incoming drone. Is it? 1.5, oh, yeah. imposing. That's it. It's a grinder drone, it's probably not a threat to us in our fighters. We just fly past it. Yeah. Alright, salvage station in view. Yep. We just want to absolutely eviscerate this thing. Um, yeah, I guess so. Because capturing things in tech seems to have not gone so well. <laughs> At least not space pirate stuff. We should probably start taking out assert stuff. Oh, see a turret firing. Is that at you? No. Uh, Wait, are they firing at themselves? Ah! Oh no, it's firing at me now. No! Why are my turrets not firing? Oh, yeah, they're firing now. Oh, one turret down! Uh, I guess I will switch to Gatling. Try and help TFV out. Wait, they are shooting at their own drones. What is going on out there? I don't know! There we go. Oof. TFE's barrage come in. Um, TFE, I have an idea. Boom! Oh! Whoa! Well, that worked. Oh, yeah, that worked. Nice. <laughs> there is nothing left. Oh, the dual rail guns. Love it. I'm switching those off before they chew through all, all my power. Um, Get back. Yeah. Cool. I reckon that sends a message, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was so satisfying. I hope you were watching that, TV. Uh, sort of. I sort of like turned around as it was happening. <laughs> need to stop calling it the Marlene. <laughs> <laughs> Marlene. 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 So has anyone looked around to see if there was any other major damage? Have we done an inspection of our ships? Mine seems to be intact. I mean, your thrusters are all firing on the Marlin. I'm trying to station keep. Um, the... The Polo Conflict looks okay. The Wasabi's... Perfectly intact. Uh... Well, our rear section looks alright. There's so much damage to the armor. It's hard to tell if uh, there's any damage on the bottom side. It's all in darkness, but I can see a few bits. Well, I guess there's only one thing to do then. So, You're going to have to build some kind of grind, uh, welder passageway that you can fly the carrier through to patch up all the <laughs> armor. You'd have to make like a dry dock. Yeah. I finished off the hangars. Kabak, do you want to fix your ship up now? Nope. Why not? Because that sounds like work. Oh, immediately exit the hangars straight into the med bay, huh? Uh, well, yeah, the door happened to happen to line up, but there's. I think I'm going to have to build some kind of airlock here, though. Yes, probably. Oh wait, these will all seal up. Technically. Yes, the these hangars will be airtight. But yeah, it's gonna we the the airtightness on this ship is going to be um it's gonna be a thing. We're probably gonna bleed a lot of oxygen over the time as we open doors we shouldn't and the like. But I like the light in the beds. In the bed wall. Oh yeah, yeah. Did you set up the range, or is that the default range of those lights? Uh, that's that's the default on those lights for the beds. But I did do the uh, surgical table light. Yeah, what do you think if we reduced it to that, to the range of the one to the left of this door? Uh, yeah. Because then the room, because it's a different color to the room lights, and then the room lights can eliminate the rest of it. Yeah, cool. So that's what you've been up to, TFE. What have you been up to? Other than, you know, joining me in glorious battle. Um, trying to get these warning lights to work, which I don't appear to be. 
Yeah, the welders are switching on, that's good. Morning lights on what? I have noticed my solution to the uh, welding thing. <laughs> oh shit, this just constantly getting bigger and bigger. Not that much. All it's doing is getting a slightly bigger chin each time. Yeah, I was about to say, I think Marlon's put on a few kilos in the last week and a bit. It's getting jowls. Uh, I think I'm my bit armor. Along with his 1920s medical mirror thing on his forehead. For some reason, told the event controller to cycle the lights. Well, I guess I could just put the lights on the same button. Yeah, that would probably make it easier if you just put them in a group and you have it turn on and off. Yep. That's what I've done for the main thing. Yay! Good job. Excellent. You have warning lights, you have welders, and now you can repair your h tram and your... Uh, the Nemo. Uh, yeah, so now we have functioning cryotubules and the ship's first toilet. <laughs> the ship's first toilet. Congratulations, Kapak. That's an achievement for all of us. Close the door, you animal. Well, with cryotubes, we can all go get some sleep. Finally. Yeah. Uh, next time we can mine some uranium, hopefully get some of the repairs done on the carrier, and maybe start thinking about... Operating on TFE. Um. Don't ask how I got out of the toilet. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you... What? Huh? Huh? Where did you end up? Opening the door. Ah, he took the emergency <laughs> exit. Uh, I guess next time we will attempt to, con well, hopefully get some good progress on the build since I feel like we've probably scared off the pirates for a little while. That explosion was so much fun. Uh, so there's all that and plenty more to come, and we will see you then. Catch you next time, everybody. Bye. And this one. Bye-bye.